Hi guys. Well, anyone watching my channel knows that before Christmas I did a short video looking at the ready to install list and a slight problem with it. Now the problem was that you couldn't hide stuff from within the list, so let's just go and have a look at it. You get to it, as I say, from My Games and Apps and within Games. You go all the way along, you can use the right stick or you can use the, sorry, the left stick or the right bumper. You go all the way along to the end and you see ready to install this. Now you're going to have more or less than me depending on what you had on your 360 and what demos you've installed. Now the thing I was moaning about before Christmas was as I say you couldn't hide stuff from this list which meant it would get very unwieldy and, and difficult to use over time because it would just get longer and longer and longer. And so I was having a little bit of a moan at Microsoft and saying come on sort that out and thanks to them they have sorted it out <laughs> after a fashion. So the first thing I have to say is that this has probably not been rolled out for everybody. I can't say for definite because obviously I've only got my machine to go by. So what am I talking about? If we hit the start button, as it used to be on the Xbox controller, you've got all the usual stuff. And at the bottom, just above help, you've got hide from list. Now that never used to be there. If you watch my old video, you'll see that there's no way of doing this. But it is there now and presumably it'll either be there for you if you're on the program or it will come along for you in the very near future. And what you do is you press A and it gives you a little blurb telling you that you can reinstall it. You can actually unhide it but it doesn't tell you how to do that here and I'll get to that in a minute. So hide and there it is, it's gone. So you go out all the way along apps back up to games just to make sure and it's not there which is great right so you can reinstall it but you can also restore it to the list and it didn't tell you how to do that there now the way you do that is it will tell you if you go into well I'll show you if you go across here under games and you press start or what used to be start and then help and then go down to more hide things from ready to install and that'll tell you how to hide them and then the next page tells you how to restore them and the way you restore them is left trigger right trigger and X at the same time what it doesn't tell you is there's a little bit more to it than that and I will show you that now so let's go along and you can see that Battlefield is still not there. So if I hit right trigger, left trigger and X, there it is. However, if I go back out, and we go along and we go into apps and then back up to games and we go back along again. It's gone again. Now why is that? Well, <laughs> the reason why that is, is because Microsoft in their infinite wisdom decided to make this more complicated than was necessary. So if we hit left and right trigger again and X brings it back. Now if I hit the start button, what used to be the start button again, if you look there it says unhide from list. Now if I go into another demo, it says hide from list. So in order to stop Battlefield from disappearing, I have to hit unhide. So if we go back out again, and back into it, there it is. And that's basically what you have to do. So you have to go into it and you have to hit unhide once you've restored it. And as I say, it's a little bit more clunky than I would have liked. And I don't see why you have to do the extra stage, but obviously there must be some reason for it. But I'm fairly happy. At least you can hide things and unhide them. So that's the main thing. Anyway, I don't know if anyone else has uh, noticed this and, and noticed that you can do this now, but I just thought I'd share that with you and, and let you know it's possible. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say. And uh, I will, as usual, speak to you again soon. Bye.